Good morning. One of the things I always tell my friends is don't call me before 10 if you want to be my friend, but yet here I am at 8.30 in the morning on Facebook. Why is that? Well, because I have rituals, yes, rituals that have actually changed my life. And I'd love to hear what some of your rituals are. So some of the rituals I'm very big about are taking care of myself. And how does that start? Quite simply, it starts by morning rituals of getting up and saying my 50 I am's when I show up at my personal best, what is unique and amazing about me. Now, if you've never done this kind of ritual, I'm gonna encourage you to please, please, please do this because it will change your life. And I mean that in so many ways. Is what we set in motion stays in motion. So can you imagine if you started your day every day with, I'm fabulous, I'm awesome, I'm beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm, I'm sincere, caring, kind, um, and you keep going on and on and on and on. And I started with my 50 IMs because of the fact that I know that it takes 20 positive comments to counteract one negative. And I wanna make sure that if I slip, because I'm human, during the day and come out with something that's not very empowering, I know I've said enough empowering words that morning to be able to be, give myself a running start, right? So that's one of my rituals. The other is, depending on what day it is, if it's a day for exercise, it's not, is you know brushing my teeth, getting in the shower, getting ready for the day, and starting my regimens. And what do I mean by regimens? Well, I'm shaking this little thing here, and if I'm not shaking it, I'm putting it in my Vitamix, and usually it goes in my Vitamix when I choose to have a breakfast that has all my greens in it, like my kale and my spinach and my avocado and my protein and my what I what is called the Fountain of Youth, one of my nutritional consultants, fabulous, fabulous drinks, and it's actually made of glutamine, um, Nutriclean, it has colostrum in it, it has magnesium in it, it has greens in it, it has all these other amazing things in it that actually is for the Fountain of Youth, it's actually gut for your gut health. And that's what's really in here without the greens is those glutamines and L-glutamine and, and other great ingredients that we need. And of course, taking some wonderful supplements and fish oils and stuff like that. And if I'm not having my green drink, yes, I am having a wonderful breakfast and one of my favorites of hard boiled days, avocados and red peppers with some, yes, sriracha sauce. Hi, Frankie, good to see you, it's been a while. And one of the things that's why am I talking about rituals is that your rituals start your day. And a lot of times we don't realize if they're working or not. One of the things, if you're come waking up and you're grumpy, not in all of life's happiness and joy, being grateful to be here and all the other wonderful things, if you're challenged with that, then I'm gonna encourage you to do some things that will change. One is how are you starting your day? If you're not waking up happy and grateful and you're hitting the snooze button, then I suggest you, as soon as that, that thing goes off, you wake up, you get up and you say yes and you know it's a great new day and you get started with it. If you're one of those people that are stuck in your rituals, then whatever you do, do something different. Go and get up on the opposite side of the bed. Roll over if you have to, if it's a king size. Do what you need to do to change the way you're doing things because it actually will make a difference in how your day will go. If you go to work one way, change the way you go to work. Go in a different direction. See how, see what you see that's different. Notice your surroundings will be different. Observe and feel how things are going on in your day. You'll see it won't be like Groundhog Day, like you're repeating the same thing because some of your rituals may not be serving you and some may. So I encourage you to try new things and see how that works. The other thing is that, you know, it's how you're setting your day in motion. Just here being on Facebook, and I get that I'm here with you too, but before I even got on Facebook, it wasn't the first thing I did. I'd been up for a couple of hours, and I did other things. I took care of me. I, I took care of my, my grooming, my health, all the other things, made sure my supplements were made and things that I needed to have. But that was my priority. But are you getting up and is the first thing you're doing going to social media? Um, because what you put in your mind is gonna affect you. And talking about that, rituals, it's like I don't have any TV in my during my day. Hi Mark, it's great to see you. Um, I don't actually have TV during the day and my husband loves, loves TV and movies, but we have a thing, like they don't really, TV doesn't even get put on until after 10 p.m. in our home because I think that you might, your mind goes into marshmallow, it, you, you kind of go into an a unconscious state of just existing. It's not really the best thing for me and sometimes it's great to just 
dig into a movie and sometimes it's not. So the news has not been in my life for over 25 years because unless I'm on the TV, I don't really like to see it um, because of the fact that they're usually giving us negative things in the world and what's going on and then whatever you focus on grows. So I encourage you to look at what your routines are. What are you feeding your mind? What are you feeding your body? What are you feeding your soul with? And if it's not filling you up with energy and joy and happiness and things that will make you go forward in a positive way, then I challenge you to change it and find out what else can you be incorporating into your routines that will give you more of what you want so that you can feel more of how you want to feel. And you know, at the end of the day, I remember my dad said, this is not a dress rehearsal. And I totally get it now, but as a kid, I didn't get it because I'd always wait for the day that something would happen. I'd want something more, but I'd want it, but I didn't go do what I needed to do to get it back then. Today, I understand the difference of wanting and doing, and I encourage you to take whatever you want and make it a do, and do what you need to do today so you can have the tomorrow that you really want. So if you got something out of this, say yes, tell me what you got. Tell me what some of your rituals are, and if you need to make some changes in those rituals, I really, really, really encourage you to do so and do it now. Not when, but do it now, and you'll see that it'll be really easy to be able to incorporate more happiness into your life on a daily basis. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.